Today I'm going to make a bindi fry. Uh, so what I've already done, I've cut the bindi, wash them, cut the heads and tails and chop them into four and now I'm frying them. Take a little bit of oil and put that chopped uh, bindi okra and fry them for about five minutes or so till they are a little bit, uh, little bit dark. Once they're a little bit brown or a little bit fried, I will take it out in a separate pan So I'll start with uh, putting a little bit of uh, jeera first. Uh, maybe a little bit. After jeera is fried, I've already chopped the onions. You can chop it whatever you want. I have just chopped them into small dices, but they're just going to get mixed anyway. And stir them till the onions are a little bit caramelized, a little bit brown. All right, so my onions are almost done. So now I'm going to add one um, chopped tomatoes. I just add it over there. I will add a little bit of ginger garlic paste. I think that should be enough. And just give it a stir. So I'm now going to add the rest of the masalas here. I'm going to add salt, a little bit of salt, a little bit of really red chili pepper, a little bit of uh, amchu, dhania powder, haldi. And a little bit of garam masala. And then I, I always add kitchen king, just a little bit. And a little bit of deghi milk for color, not too much. It's getting a little bit dry, so I might have to add a little bit of water, so let me do that. Just a little bit, give it a stir so that all the masalas get mixed up. And just continue to do that for about a minute or two you will start seeing the oil coming out from the side that's when you know the masala has been kind of done okay while the masala is getting ready it's getting cooked this is how we spend our time and spend good quality time with each other Okay, it seems masala is ready. So now I'm going to add the bindi to it, the fried bindi to it. I will just cover it for about a few minutes so that the bindi also gets cooked. All right, it looks our bindi is all done. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn off the gas and then take it out in a serving dish here. And then garnish it with a little bit of cilantro. Maybe give it a little bit of stir. This is how you make bhindi masala. Love you all. Bye. <laughs> Oh, lady, 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 oh,